Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mass today, or well, Thursday, the 28th of January. It's the feast today of St. Thomas Aquinas, also the third week of the Church's ordinary time. Mass today is being offered for Charles Sagayan, but also we're remembering Jason Partridge, Christine Galindo, Brian Hubbs, Linda MacDonald, Paul Gallagher, and baby Ruby. And also today we have the funeral of Chita Ilorata. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Thomas was born of a noble family in southern Italy in 1225. And he was educated by the Benedictines. In the normal course of events, he would have joined that order and taken up a position suitable to his rank, but he decided to become a Dominican. And he came to be known as one of the greatest theologians of the church, and his work is still an irreplaceable resource today. He died in 1274. First reading today calls on Christians to support and encourage one another as their faith faces difficulties. According to the gospel, Jesus is the light of the world. <clears throat> Let's prepare now for others. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas, outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine. Grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Through the blood of Jesus, we have the right to enter the sanctuary by a new way which he has opened for us, a living opening through the curtain, that is to say, his body. And we have the supreme high priest over all the house of God. So as we go in, let us be sincere in heart and filled with faith our minds sprinkled and free from any trace of bad conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us keep firm in the faith, in the hope we profess, because the one who made the promise is faithful. Let us be concerned for each other, to stir a response in love and good works. Do not stay away from the meetings of the community, as some do, but encourage each other to go, the more so as you see the day drawing near. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the psalm. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord's is the earth in its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. 
You will shine in the world like bright stars because you are offering it the word of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, Would you bring in a lamp to put it under a tub or under the bed? Surely you will put it on the lampstand. For is nothing hidden but it must be disclosed, nothing kept secret except to be brought to light. If anyone has ears to hear, let him listen to this. He also said to them, Take notice of what you are hearing. The amount you measure out is the amount you will be given, and more besides. For the man who has will be given more, for the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. With this passage from the letter to the Hebrews, we have an encouragement to make use of the possibility of entry into the sanctuary of heaven by passing through the body of Christ. This is backed up by a triple encouragement. Let us be filled with faith, let us keep firm in hope, and let us stir a response in love. The three theological virtues. Finally comes an encouragement not to be absent from the meetings of the community. There are other passages in the letter which suggest that defection was a real danger. It's not clear whether this falling away was a result of persecution or a mere loss of fervour. The Gospel reading consists of two parables and their commentaries. A lamp has its purpose to bring light, and here Jesus must be referring to his own message. The explanation following suggests that the time for full revelation has not yet come. Jesus was aware that his message, his conception of the kingdom of God, was far from the popular notion so it couldn't be understood immediately. Again and again he teaches that they cannot fully understand what form his messiahship will take until he has suffered and risen from the dead. The purpose of his imagery is to disclose gently as they are ready to understand, and then eventually all will be clear. The second parable, the measure, is more akin to the golden rule do not do to another what you would not want done to yourself. The explanation may mean that if you have enough goodwill to understand that, you will make progress. If not, there's no hope. <clears throat> Christ is the high priest of his people. It is in him that we come together to make our prayer to the Father of us all. Father, put new hearts within us. We thank you for calling us into the church. Bless us with constant faith and make it a source of life for others. Father, put new hearts within us. Lord, bless Francis, our Pope. We pray that his faith may not fail and that he may strengthen his brothers and sisters. Father, put new hearts within us. Turn sinners back to you. Grant us a humble and contrite heart. Father, put new hearts within us. Your son knew what it was to be excluded from his homeland. Be mindful of those who must live far from their family and country. Father, put new hearts within us. Give eternal rest to the dead. Bring the whole church together in heaven. Father, put new hearts within us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord our God, since it was by your gift that St. Thomas became so great a saint and theologian, give us grace to understand his teaching and follow his way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humility. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed Thomas be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers you sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, and by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become <clears throat> the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, 
as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Thomas, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, obedient to our Lord's command, let's pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Can we offer each other a sign of peace? Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ.
blood of Christ. Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Thomas they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for sharing the Mass with me today. The next Mass to be broadcast will be tomorrow, Friday. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Keep safe and well. Have a great day.